Okay, so in this video we will talk about reading books on the iPhone again. And this time we will talk about the focus mode that is built in into iOS. Focus mode is a brilliant feature on iOS that makes it possible to do a lot of stuff and settings for specific times so for example when we should read books on the iphone then we can go into focus and create a focus for reading that means that if you have the reading focus on all the settings that you have choosed in the reading focus mode will be added and nothing else will work so if you don't want to have any notifications uh, phone calls or whatever you want you can do that with a focus so here we have my different focus modes as you can see and down below here you can see that if you have share across devices these focus modes will also sh be shared and used on your ipad and apple watch too and you can have focus status on so other people will see your status when for example using apple messaging app that's nice so in my reading focus i have these settings as you can see here notifications which notification should be allowed and you can choose from people and from apps so you can add people that you want to have notifications from while reading and down here you can Turn off phone calls from everybody or only for the same people that you have chosen for notifications or other settings. Personally, I want to have all phone calls available with the reading focus because uh, I think uh, a phone call can be so important that you want to answer the phone even when reading books. I think phone calls can be a pre over reading books actually actually so that's why i think uh, phone calls will be on here from everybody but of course you can choose something else you can choose whatever you want here but this is what i choose for notifications and phone calls when reading and the same with apps here you can choose which apps that notification will be allowed from when reading books so i've chosen some um, reading apps as you can see also audiobooks actually for the same focus and i have turned off time sensitive notifications because i don't want to have notifications from my calendar for example or apple reminder or whatever so i will only have notifications from these apps so here you can add more apps if you want by just clicking add apps very easy to do options here you can have notifications silenced and show on the lock screen you can also dim the lock screen if you want but i don't want to do that because uh, you get a really nice background made from emojis emojis when reading books for the reading focus mode you can also hide notification badges on the home screen if you want. So that is one of the options I have chosen here. And as you can see here, you can choose different backgrounds for um, the lock screen, for example. Then you have this beautiful, as you can see here, you can choose this one when reading, for example. So this will be on your lock screen while reading books. And I also have one home screen choice chosen for the focus mode and i also have one um, apple watch face chosen for when reading i think i will change that to this one actually and down here you can turn on smart activation i think that's very good to have because if you have this on and when reading books with one of the apps you have chosen then the focus mode will turn on automatically after about five minutes so after reading for five minutes the focus mode reading will turn on automatically you can also add a schedule if you want 
if you always read books at at the, the evening for some hours for example then you can add that schedule here but i think smart activation is enough actually and here is one important thing for me and that is uh, battery saving low power mode you can have that on in the reading focus and i think that's very important because then the battery uh, will last longer on your iphone but the most important with that setting is that it will turn off 120 hertz display an iphone 13 pro max has an 120 hertz display really beautiful display but when reading books you don't need 120 hertz so the low power mode will turn that off automatically for you while reading books and that's great for your eyes you don't get so much headaches and much much more benefits so that is a very important setting and it also dims the display a bit more than before so you don't get so much white light in your eyes when having this on so if we turn the reading focus on now we can do that manually or using the smart activation but we will do manually now for this video then you can as you saw here scroll down with your finger at the top right corner and click on this to choose a focus we turn on reading if you click there you turn on reading immediately and uh, without options but if you click on these three dots you can have some options for one hour until this evening until i leave this location for example but we will turn uh, the reading focus on now automatically now you have the the background you have choice chosen and all the notifications turned off for the apps you don't want to have and the lock screen will have the background that you have chosen as you can see here and also the apple watch and the ipad will have the same settings so now when i open the kindle app to read a book let's say this book now i can have the pleasure of reading a book with the settings for my focus mode without disturbance without annoying notifications or whatever i can't use any social network apps i can't use any other app so this is the perfect reading mode exactly as smooth reading that you have on an ebook reader without notifications and other apps so with a focus mode on your iPhone, you get an excellent ebook reader to read books on without disturbing stuff like notifications and other apps and so on. So, this is a very, very smart way of doing an iPhone even better for reading books. So, that's about it. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.